Hello, my name is Kainton, and today in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to set up Jupyter Notebook on Windows. You can also apply the same techniques in setting up Jupyter Notebook on Mac or Linux. The duration of this lesson is about 11 minutes. The level is beginner, meaning that you don't need any prerequisite knowledge of programming or coding. This is one of the series of Python programming languages that I'm creating for beginners just for free. It's part of a bigger initiative by International Computer Programmers Group. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to lay out what we are going to learn today. We are going to first know what really is Jupyter Notebook, setting up Jupyter Notebook and creating your first notebook. So what is Jupyter Notebook? This is very interesting. Jupyter Notebook is an application that is used for creating and presenting data science projects. This simply means you write a program and package this program code with the output of this program and you, you are ready to share it or distribute it. The interesting thing about it is also it can be presented on a web page and so portability becomes a, something really good. It can run in any operating system just on the web page or on the internet browser. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe so that when I make updates or make new lessons, you'll get notified. Jupyter Notebook combines program codes into a single document which includes text, models, graphics, equations, plots, and so on and so forth. Jupyter Notebook is open source, and, in, and also Jupyter Notebook can be used with different programming languages like Python, R, Julia, and others. But Python is a uh, easy to use with Jupyter Notebook because there has been a distribution of Python that com combines the you know, Jupyter Notebook as well as other tools needed to create uh, uh, create and present data science projects. So here we are going to set up Python, set up Jupyter Notebook for Python. How to install Jupyter Notebook? So these are the steps. We are going to do it right now. Uh, we are going to download Anaconda, install it, but if you already have Python installed in your system, go to your command line and just run pip3 install Jupyter. This is how to create the first notebook. We are going to do this together. It's very easy because we simply do this on a web interface. All right, so just another reminder, please subscribe. Uh, click on subscribe button and also like this lesson if it's been informative for you. All right, so let's go and install, uh, install Anaconda. First, we download it. So if you go to this page, to this uh, website, so I'm going to paste this. Paste. So here we can easily download Anaconda. So download Anaconda distribution, as I mentioned, is a distribution of Python. <laughs> So here you have Anaconda 5.2 for Windows. So we have Python 3.6 version, Python 2.7 version. So you actually click on 64-bit graphical installer. So if you click, it uh, downloads. I already have downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel and just open the directory where I installed it, and then we can then start installing it. All right, I have Anaconda. Uh, so I might drive these. So this is it. So just double click on it. If you've downloaded it, double click on it and it will start installing. So this is it. Next. I agree. So just for me. So where you want to install it, you just leave it the same way it is. So here you need to add Anaconda to path environment variable. This means that you can run Anaconda command from your command prompt. So I'm going to do this. So not recommended, instead open an account that we start. Okay, that is also fine. So just go ahead to install. It takes a couple of seconds to install. So as it is installing, let's go back to the presentation so that I could just show you around uh, in the Jupyter notebook creation steps. So to create a notebook, you open the Anaconda shortcut. So we are not actually writing any program on the command line. So when you open an Anaconda shortcut from your start menu, that opens the dashboard. You click on new, just like you use Microsoft Word or any other application. You have new in the menu, is in the upper right side, and select Python 3. And later in another tutorial, I'll show you how to add other programming languages to uh, Jupyter so that you'll be able to 
write code in other programming languages. So when you follow the second step, Jupyter Notebook actually opens and then have a name and title. So you will be able to save this notebook with a name. So we are going to actually write this and then we run it and then we'll be satisfied that we uh, installed Anaconda and created our first notebook. So this takes some time. So maybe I'm going to stop this video and then we can uh, continue in the next video. So remember to subscribe and remember to move on to uh, lesson two so that we can start creating our flash notebook.